In Magica AI tutorial, create a AI app with no code, step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create an AI based application without having to code whatsoever. So let's get into it. Now, Imagica has launched their new tool that enables you to create your own customized AI application and you can get started for free. So I'm just going to head on over to imagica.ai and you're going to click on sign up with Google or you can sign up with your email address. I'm just going to be signing up over here and I'll just continue on. And once we have created our account, we will be led to the Imagica sign up process. So from here, I'm just going to sign up and once you have completed this you can get started with a tutorial video but we don't need that so we're just going to go on over here now once you have signed up this is going to be your application or your dashboard and you will see on the bottom you have templates now some people might ask hey i want to build my own customized application i don't need a template well you can create your own ai from scratch as well but what viewing some of these templates does is that you can actually see how people are structuring their AIs. You can also see, you know, what are popular AI choices that people are running. So I want to start a craft chocolate company, run, generate a business plan. And then our mission is to do this and then generate a business name, list five uh, ideal locations. Then we also have the particular type of, um, you know, company style, potential risks as well. Then it's also creating some animation styles. And just like that, it has created a simple business plan. So this is a simple little AI that can help you in generating your business plan. Now, there are multiple different ways that you can use this. You can go on ahead and go into templates to see some of the other applications. But if you want to build your own AI app, you're going to go into create your own. So you can just click on the top left icon in your dashboard. If I go into discard and exit, I can click on create new project on the top left and it's going to show you different options. So first off, you have a making your own flow, which is your thinking canvas, which we just viewed. Then you also have a prompt. So you can enter a prompt and it can generate an app template for you. Then you have your AI app on the top left. So generate content based on your user input. And then you also have your AI chat agent using your source of knowledge. Now you also have a static website, shared fixed content generated from your project as well. Now, what we want to get started with, let's say I want to build my own customized app. So for that, you're going to go with the auto Imagica over here, and then we are just going to proceed over here. Now, what would you like to build today? Now on the bottom, they're also going to provide you with certain prompts. So when users enter their age, income and gold, the app generates a savings plan. Or when users describe their product, target market, and marketing objectives, the app generates campaign headlines. So let's say for us, when users enter their weight, height, and gender, the app generates a recommended nutrient intake with some examples of meals and provides fitness and health guidance like this so maybe i want to you know build my own fitness app so this is the prompt that i am going to be creating now once i enter my prompt it's going to start creating some of the basic flows and a logic that it is going to operate on obviously we're developing an entire ai so now what the AI is doing is that it's creating like an example for me to visually be able to see. And then you will be able to see weight, generate recommended nutrient as well, nutrient based intake, all of that. So it's linking all of these together and doing the next step based on your weight height, all of that, all of that is providing, you know, the nutrient intake, 
Then you have your second output, which is fitness guidance based upon the weight and height. So just like that. Now it's currently um, adding some of the example foods, how people can, you know, be more healthy as well. And I'm just going to take a look at everything, making sure it's all good. I'll, you know, move this a bit closer so it's easier for you guys to see and read all of the information provided over here. So let's just move these to the side. But if I take a look over here, let's say we have this one operating over here. So I'll just expand it a little. And you will see on the right side, uh, you will have a basic idea of what your application is going to look like. So you can also add another node if you want to provide a different type of information that, you know, your AI has not generated. And then the AI can learn from that. And then next time it is going to, you know, provide a similar answer. Now, as you guys can see over here, uh, I have three basic nodes that are answers to this question. Now, if I increase the weight over here, the AI is automatically going to change the answer and based upon upon that it's going to change the recommendations as well now once you have completed your project you will see you have a few options you can upload files as a knowledge base if you're looking to build that then you have your select tool if you want to remove any node or add anything else then on the top right you will see your share tool and what you can do is that you can click on share and basically share your AI. So instead of just having to manually input all of your friends data into this, you can just go on ahead and share your AI and then people can open up your AI and then get all of the answers that they needed. You can also click on publish as and you will uh, enter your published name. So this is what the AI is going to look like. Get your personalized nutrition and fitness guidance with AI. Let's say I want to edit this with our AI app like this. And then from here, I'm just going to add kg, just the units of measurement that I'm using. And then we have the gender, male or female like this. This is how I want this to look. So I'm going to publish my AI application. And once we have clicked on publish, you can even click on settings to, you know, change the appearance of your AI application. But we have created our AI application. Now I can copy the link. And then once I have copied the link, so I'm just going to make sure to copy this over here and then we can open this up. And once we open this up, we can just use this AI application. People can even preview this on a mobile device. This is our AI application. Now, if I enter my weight, so let's say I add like a drastic weight so you guys can see what type of advice it gives. I'm just going to click on submit over here. And then, you know, obviously it's going to go through all of the process, analyze all the information, and then the AI is going to respond with all of the three key metrics that we asked it and that we approved in our initial nodes. Make sure that if there is anything else you would like to add, to add that in your initial nodes as well, because if it's not added over there, it's going to follow the same pattern for the rest of the answers that people are going to get with your AI. So make sure if there is anything else that you might feel like is has been a bit neglected, then to add that in your nodes over here. So you guys can see in this, it has added a lot more uh, information, uh, aim for a well-balanced diet, overall well-being, getting enough sleep, stay hydrated, uh, monitor your body weight, and more uh, to maintain your current weight, to lose weight. So it has added a recommendation for weight loss. And just like that, we have built a AI application without any code. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.